standing by for a start of the five. They're set and they're racing. Pretty good even break two. On the far side, Ben Bourne was a fraction slow into stride. Var going very fast early and Boogie Street is up there as well. Distinctly game not that far off the pace from Celtic Mill and Mighty Bow on the near side. Over on the far side, Cape of Good Hope is there with Ben Bourne and right there in the centre, Tornados. Further back is Moss Vale, Fayer Jag, Chenur in the centre. Well back is Texas Gold at this stage with a tattling near last. Two and a half furlongs to go. They're almost at halfway now and Cape of Good Hope gives a good sight over on the far side but VAR leads them up the centre here uh, battling on well as Boogie Street running a big race, Chenur is starting to run on well now from Mighty Bow it's Boogie Street in front though as they come up with a furlong to go Chenur challenging on the far side now from Cave of Good Hope, Chenur for France, Christophe Lemaire it's a big week for him, he's going to win the King's Stand, Chenur careering away goes on to win it well, Boogie Street is second, photo third Mossvale there with Cape of Good Hope they stand, they're ready for the Prince of Wales, they're off and running. Good dispatch too in the centre, Manjiro away pretty well, Sir Percy is up there, Dylan Thomas eased on the outside, not now Cato holding the rail, but not a great deal of pace on, and Martin Dwyer takes Sir Percy into the lead here, and then just sits on him, and it's not a fast early pace at all, in fact it's very slow. In second is not now Cato, Manjiro the outside in third from Red Rocks, Dylan Thomas and pressing, as they race into Swindley Bottom now, and just under a mile to travel in the Prince of Wales Stakes. Out in front here is Sir Percy, an unfamiliar role. He dictates terms by two lengths or so to not now Cato in second. In third is Manduro. Then the dark jacket of Dylan Thomas, followed on the outside by pressing and back on the inner. At this stage is Red Rocks, who's about six lengths off the pace. Now they start to run uphill, and he gets to work on Sir Percy as they leave the six peg behind them. He leads by three lengths now, and he's in, applying a, a bit of pressure here to his rivals. Sir Percy by three or four lengths. Not now Cato in second. In third then is Manduro travelling beautifully for Pasquier. Two lengths further back then is Dylan Thomas pressing to the outside and Red Rocks are still held up in rear as they travel up past the half mile in the Prince of Wales Stakes. And Sir Percy on the inside, the leader. He's uh, doing all the donkey work. Two lengths to not now Cato. Two away then is Manduro followed further back in the field by Dylan Thomas pressing and Red Rocks with five or six lengths to make up as they round the turn. Three furlongs left to travel. Sir Percy out in front. Here they come now on the outside. Not now Cato. Also there Manduro and Dylan Thomas taken to the outside. Racing up now inside the two. Sir Percy being grabbed now by Manduro who kicks for home. Dylan Thomas trying to go with the Frenchman. Two or three lengths extended. Not now Cato. Red Rocks. A furlong left to go though. Manduro's holding Dylan Thomas at the moment. Manduro about three parts in front. Dylan Thomas is now trying hard to pick him up. But Manduro's home. Manduro wins the Prince of Wales and stakes. Can he ride? And they're off and racing. Get away to a pretty good line. And amongst those that show up early, Magnus, they're splitting into two groups with a few remaining over towards the far side. Dandy Man's over there in company with National Colour, who leads that group with Morehouse Lad and Matsuna Suki. Meanwhile, over on the near side, Ekiano leads at not a breakneck pace from Takeover Target and Magnus, the Australian duo, well paced. They're being tracked by Fleeting Spirit, then enticing. Uh, under the near side rail is Ben Bourne from Kingsgate native Abraham Lincoln and Ho Mike as they make their way now down towards the halfway stage. Over on the far side, National Colour shows with a narrow advantage there from Dandy Man. They're being tracked by Morehouse Lad. Meanwhile, under the stand side, Echiano continues to give a bold sight, then take over target. Magnus is under strong pressure. Fleeting Spirit is being asked to close inside the last. Echiano for Spain. Take over target and Fleeting Spirit on the far side. Dandy Man and National Colour. Echiano's made just about every yard. Dandy Man on the near far side. It's just about alongside. They hit the line. Echiano, a famous winner for Spain in the King stand in the lighter blue jacket away to the right away to the left cat junior somewhat isolated in the early stages and races keenly uh, rip van winkle and calming influence are tracked by golda cover in the blue with the white sleeves and the white cap and in the green jacket dalgar followed next by ukbar in a striped cap and zakinto paco boy getting plenty of cover in the maroon towards the stand side from dream eater and pipe dreamer at the tail of the field relatively well spread out and it's calming influence 
Spire length to Rep Van Winkle, ridden very prominently by Murta. Goldie Cobra is just tracking these. Towards the outside is Cat Jr., then Zach Kinto and Dal Garanuk. Bar towards the outside travels kindly. Back in the field is Dream Eater, then from Paco Boy and Pipe Dreamer at the tail of the field. They race towards the last three furlongs in the Queen Anne Stakes, the Royal Ascot opener. And calming influence now, Rip Van Winkle is looming up. Gold in behind seemingly waiting to pounce then Cat Jr followed by Zakinto Dalgar Ugbar Paco Boy with still a lot of cover and no way through now he says go on Goldikova Goldikova committed quite early by Pellier kicks two lengths to a Rip Van Winkle Zakinto Paco Boy is coming through from the back from Dalgar and Dream Eater less than a furlong to go Goldikova by two lengths Paco Boy is charging at the French mare Goldikova all out Paco Boy is flying home. They're going to hit the line. Goldie Cobra won the Queen Anne from Paco Boy, but there wasn't very much in it. Three meter third, Zakinto four. There you go. And they're off, and first news memory has jumped out on terms with the others, held up in the early stages along with Nova Hawk, Barefoot Lady in the noseband, Clive Sullish up the inside, probably just the leader, Thaiskin's Theory, out wide from Joviality, and then behind them, more than real, memory is pulling very hard now on the inside, and the light blue jacket just refuses to drop her head. Out wide of the field is Clinical with I Love Me, then Al Shabakai, more than real, the fence, together in a purple jacket, back in the field with memory, then Nova Hawk and finally Immortal Verse. It's Clive Sullish for Ireland that leads the way. Thaiskin's Theory and Joviality are second and third. Then Barefoot Lady, I Love Me. Uh, then uh, El Shabakai racing between Clinical and the American Philly more than real. Further back is Together, then Memory, Nova Hawk and finally Immortal Verse. They're running now towards the final turn, sweeping right-handed and Clive Sullish by a length and a half to Thaiskin's Theory. Joviality Barefoot Lady being pushed along. Out wide is I Love Me. Then running through El Shabakai. More than real the inside. Clinical together. Then Memory, Nova Hawk and Immortal Verse. Clive Sullish by two lengths. Thaiskin's Theory now ridden along in second. Hang slightly. Joviality, Barefoot Lady, I Love Me. Down the outside, Immortal Verse. Nova Hawk's also running on. So two together. Looking for a way through in the purple jacket. As now they group together. And Immortal Verse from last place has come through to take it up. Up, swoops down the outside from a, then in second barefoot lady battling on Nova Hawk together flattening out joviality I love me but immortal verse brilliantly riddled by Gerald Mosse wins the coronation second Nova Hawk then barefoot lady they're off Racing for the Coronation Stakes, local time is the slowest of the nine fillies away from the stores as Arabian Queen and Sylvester de Souza go through to lead early on. Miss Temple City in second, found of the blue and orange on the cap is to the right of those showing in the fourth position. Now as Yasmin has come through to take second. A red cap for Sperry next and then Irish rookie in the grey jacket just ahead of a Vedger in the green colours. Local time next to the slow starter and last of all now is Lucida as they race down the side of the course approaching the end of their third furlong. They're going strong here. Sylvester de Souza and Arabian Queen out in front by two lengths to Yasmin in second. Miss Temple City wide of those in the mainly black jacket. Then comes found in fourth position from Sperry, Irish rookie of Vedia, local time and Lucida. They're on the way to the turn. It's still Arabian Queen out in front by two or three lengths. Yasmin in second. Miss Temple City and third. Found is a length off them in fourth position, being moved to the outside for her challenge. Behind those is Irish Rookie, and they're followed through uh, by Sperry, and then Oveja, heading down to the two marker. Still Arabian Queen in front. Here's Found towards the right now, coming through with her challenge. Miss Temple City running a massive race between them. Lucida nearest to us, coming home strongly. Found and Ryan have grabbed the lead inside the last furlong. Here's Oveja in the green jacket up by Sumion, Avenger coming out strongly to get to found, Lucida closing on those, Avenger just to found Lucida, Miss Temple City and behind them Arabian Queen.
in at the rear of the field as the light blue jacket of Tourmour and Richard Hughes go to lead early on. Solo the grey, Maxime Guillon running in second place and then off to the left with the blue headgear as Gloria waits them out of Sylvester de Souza. The blue jacket of Knight of Thunder is two lengths behind them. He holds fourth position from the dark blue of the yellow cap of Esoteric. She races in fifth place with Pierre Charles Boudot. Then Joe Marira on Able Friend, the black and gold colours, head of Cougar Mountain, Ryan Moore in the blue and orange jacket. And here comes Wen and Jim Crowley is at the rear of the field as they head then down already towards the halfway stage. Good gallop set by Tourmore. He strides on by a length and a half. Solo goes well in second place. The near side of glory awaits. Knight of Thunder behind those. Then Esoteric continues to hold fifth position. Able Friend in sixth in Cougar Mountain. And here comes Wen. Heading down now with the two furlong marker already in sight. Tourmore continues to lead. Tracked by Solo. Knight of Thunder there coming towards the right with a challenge. Gloria waits behind those. Able Friend and Esoteric the next pair. Into the closing stages. Solo under pressure is Knight of Thunder. And they're off. A Shadehan just jumping a little awkwardly. A Nathra out wide jumping out to her left as they uh, sort themselves out through the first couple of hundred yards of the Group 1 Coronation Stakes. And Fireglow and Nathra from wide draws just taking a while to cross over. A jet setting towards the inside in the red and yellow is prominent with promising run in the raw blue. Now or never a claret jacket. And Fireglow and Nathra now moving over to join them and racing handily. So as they begin the ascent at the end of two and a half furlongs, it's jet setting who leads to Fireglow. Nathra out wide is close up in third. Marenko, a red jacket, close the row from Promising Run. Working across to Now or Never and Zabo circling the field. To Nazar and a sheepskin nosebound right down on the inside. Running Ralph, followed by Nemerali, the blue and white, and then Bashara Alice Springs. Kemmer, a silver jacket. Now Shadehan is just last as they head on towards the halfway point and begin the swing back towards home. Jet setting the Irish Guineas winner is out in front. A Fireglow sitting in second. Marenko the inside. Uh, then Nathra from Promising Run. Alice Springs still under a waiting ride in the slipstream of Tanaza. They'll need luck in running for there. And uh, Nemeralia in a blue and white jacket is looking for a way out as they head down the straight and on towards the last quarter mile. Jet setting Fireglow. Now or never a claret jacket is in the clear. Promising Run. Kemmer in a silver jacket is making headway. Shardahan is running on out wide. Now or never struck the front. Tightened up Fireglow. Here's Kemmer with a thundering run. Nemeralia is in the clear. Also running on. off but Kemmer is not for catching streaking away and Kemmer wins the coronation stakes for Al Shakab. They're off racing over the straight mile for the group two Duke of Cambridge stakes out in the centre the grey filly Greta G was away well but is in no hurry and it's a fairly leisurely pace through the first furlong and Smart Call and Ryan Moore black and yellow jacket and move through to lead to Opal Tiara towards the near side in the white silk summer icon out in the centre yellow jacket is racing freely is leading a small group of three over there and she wants a little bit of company just to help her settle mix and mingle is on the left of that trio and Furia Cruzada is tucked in behind fillies as the larger group race towards the stand side running rail where at the end of the third furlong it's smart call who still leads them to turret rocks the blue and green jacket and then opal tiara being followed by greta g same jurisdiction a pale blue jacket is midfield the white face philly dawn of hope is towards the near side followed by pirouette kemar in the silver silks is weighted with at this stage likewise usherette in the raw blue al jazzy is being held up and aimed to please a white jacket is towards the rear they've moved beyond halfway heading down towards the three marker and it's smart call under the rail in the hands of ryan moore who has the lead to Turret Rocks who's being ridden along from Opal Tiara and then same jurisdiction Kemar in the silver colours is beginning to make progress now towards the centre followed by Aim to Please and Greta G under the rail the white face Philly Dawn of Hope is also picking up they've got a furlong and a half to go it's smart call Kemar though is now moving up to throw down a strong challenge Al Jazzy with a white cap is being to run on from the rear and then Dawn of Hope but it's Kemar in front being chased by Al Jazzy Kemar got first run on Al Jazzy 
and Kemar is doing it up and wins again at the Royal Meeting from Al Jazzy. Late gains for last year's winner, Usherette, and Smart Call was back in fourth. Main edition sets and they're off in the coronation stakes. Happen just a little bit slow. The favourite, Hermosa, drawn on the outside. Ryan Moore taking a glance or two across and we'll see that Pretty Pollyanna is coming through to be prominent. Main edition is in behind. Pretty Pollyanna and Hermosa, the Irish Guineas 1-2, are 1-2 in the coronation early on. Ahead of main edition, the light blue of Watch Me, the spotted jacket twist and shake is just in behind, racing on the inside of Jubiloso. The back three, just one. Wonderful. Castle Lady, the Royal Blue, and Happen is last of all as Pretty Pollyanna leads under Sylvester de Souza. They have completed three furlongs in the coronation. The Jewel Guineas winner, Hermosa, is on the outside, just on the girth of Pretty Pollyanna at this stage, with main addition in third place on that one's outer is Watch Me, with a Twist and Shake next on the inside still of the unbeaten Jubiloso, and then just wonderful Castle Lady, and Happen is in last place as they make the turn into the home straight and are about to run inside the three. Pretty Pollyanna with Hermosa for close company. Main addition is just in behind with Watch Me and then Twist and Shake and Frankie back in fifth position. Jubiloso has got every chance on the outside. James McDonald. Ryan Moore now shakes up Hermosa to try and come past Pretty Pollyanna. Watch Me is still held together by Pierre-Charles Boudot and Jubiloso down the outside. Watch Me has come past Hermosa. Jubiloso is trying to challenge. It's Watch Me in front. Hermosa trying to dig in to the inside. Jubiloso hasn't quite got there and it's Watch Me in front as they run close home in the coronation. Watch Me has won for Francis-Henri Graffard and Pierre-Charles Boudot.